back from the glasses. <laughs> I think we're going to be late. We were holding on and holding on and the rain did stop. So a good decision in one way. The rushing out the door, I forgot my glasses, which is only going to make it worse. All right, we'll let the runners go first, see how deep it is. At least we can half pedal. Oh, no, they've given up. No, it's not that wet, surely. Yeah, just stay in the middle. Don't think about it. Just get on with it. Are you there? I'm here, yeah. Hello. Good morning. Wheelers at large. We're out again. It's not raining at the moment. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Blue sky though, look. Let's hope it stays that way for a bit. We're riding into blue sky, so let's hope. No, stay on the road. Oh, that's true. Okay, okay. But I can't believe that this is any deeper than the one we... Oh, no, just a minute. Yeah, no, this is deep. Low gear, keep pedalling. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, that is deep! Oh, well, I'm already wet. Who cares? Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Keep going, Julie! You can do it! You can do it! No! Get in the middle! <laughs> Oh, she stopped. <laughs> Foot down. <laughs> Never mind. So much for yee in here. Not a chance. Oh. Oh. Here she comes. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going to be in trouble now. She said go the roadway. I said no. You got to mess about with the crossing then. At least this way we can keep going. Apparently I was wrong. Oh, there's a few of us. Hello, 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 hello. Are you joining us as well? No, I'm not. Oh. She's on the mission car duty. <laughs> oh, what a shame. I was really excited. But oh. Oh, oh. We all know Darren Albro, okay? He's got a new name. His new name is Darren Ebro. <laughs> Oh, we got water, standing water again. Uh, not too bad. Well, the ditches are still full, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, plenty of room, don't worry. There is a few of us, though. Guard, but it's more an arse saver for me than anybody else. <laughs> this is where we wait for Darren to come steaming through. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> we actually went the wrong way, so we've just climbed this hill and we're going back down it. Yeah. At least we didn't know we'd gone the wrong way and had to climb it. Well, uh, yeah. I had the wrong route on. And I've led everybody up this hill for no reason. But, you know, let's call it Mallorca miles. Mallorca training miles. Does mean we get a nice fast downhill now. Car up. Let's give him space. Was nice. Yeah. It was. It was a nice downhill. I enjoyed that.
it's a bit mucky through here but uh, hopefully very little in the way of traffic it is a gravel ride after all you notice there's no squeaking of brakes there morning yes i've gone back to the aliexpress super cheapo discs now i know they're going to wear out in half the time but uh, definitely much quieter I might still do the same on the road bike as well because those Shimano ones are absolutely brilliant in the dry fantastic don't get me wrong but in the wet with the pads I'm using possibly that has a bearing on it I don't know just so noisy it's rather a pretty church there I do hope there's no holes. Really didn't fancy going over the bars there. Bike was going out in front. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to slow through it. That's my bike complaining. <laughs> There's a cut through up here somewhere and it just means we've got less time on the main road than if we went up to Bloxworth and down, which is actually a, a good mile or so. So we turn right here, it's going to be fast but it's going to be short. Even though it's a 60 mile an hour limit, well it's 40 here but it goes into a 60, you can guarantee everybody's doing 70, 75. This should now take us into the back of Wareham Forest. In fact, I would say those trees right there are the back of Wareham Forest. When you cycle, you find paths like this. Little gems that you can't drive along. We found gravel. I mean, it took a while, <laughs> but we've definitely found some. Oh, I can hear Darren. <laughs> yeah, you can hear it. It works harder, doesn't it, when it's off-road? Yeah. On to the main track. A little bit of sludgy stuff to get here. The mountain bike definitely has the advantage here. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was fun they've all barreled through i didn't i was careful i should have barreled through too it wasn't as scary as it looked anyway welcome to wareham forest my gears aren't working at the front Yeah, Wareham Forest does suffer with the water a lot more than the new forest. So you get a lot of flooded trails like this. But uh, generally, the gravel roads are pretty good. Right through it with some confidence, he says, before getting thrown over the front. Definitely a countdown to our uh, Mallorca trip now. Yep, not long. I've been in the gym a couple of times, get myself a bit fitter. I'm still trailing, following behind uh, seven speedy men, but it's keeping me on my toes. There's my super cheap AliExpress discs with cooling fins. 
They work really well actually, they just don't last so long. And you need to be aware of that. Right, we're leaving Wareham Forest behind and uh, we'll make our way into Wareham and have a coffee. Okay. Right, middle of my cassettes playing up. Why is that? Have I got a stone stuck in there or something? I'll have to check it in a minute. Where on pizza and kebab? That'll do me, to be honest. I mean, it's not the ideal diet before New Yorker, I'm guessing, but it sounds good. <laughs> oh, so that looks nice. We've got ca carrot cake. The biggest uh, piece in the Dorset world. apple cake. Mm. Dorset oh, yeah. apple cake. Oh, wow. We've had our coffee stop. I had a sausage roll and a cappuccino. And a very big sausage roll. So I'm not sure if I'm weighed down by it or given energy by it. Heading towards the Arn RSPB area, Bird Sanctuary, whatever it's called. And now we're not. Now we're heading to Corfe Castle. Do you know what? My boots are really good. I've got um, socks on, winter boots, which are um, North Wave. Um, I've got gaiters and I've got shoe covers. I have literally sunk my feet in water more than once today and my feet are toasty. It's got horns. Amazing to think, isn't it? In the summer, whoa, look at that. We bring the road bikes through here. <laughs> Crazy. Thank you. I did as I was told. We've been through there before and that uh, hole at the middle there is uh, bike wheel sized. Everybody got through, nobody died. And now we are riding the river. Fortunately, it is all downhill. That said, I'm having to pedal quite hard because it's quite gravelly and soft too. <laughs> I guess all the sand gets washed out from between the stones. That makes it soft. It hard enough again in the summer. This is UK gravel riding. <laughs> Everything we have is tarmac or this. This is a bit bumpy. Oh no! Woo! That was interesting. Woo -hoo -hoo! A bit of tipsy doodles there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we have an adventure there. Yeah, well done. You did. <laughs> Gets the adrenaline going, that's for sure. Not really had a chance to have a proper one-on-one -on -one chat today, have we? But I would like to take this opportunity to say, three and a half thousand subscribers? <laughs> Where did that come from? Thank you, everyone. And for the comments. Yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you very much. Miss that puddle, hit those two instead. Pointless exercise. Serves me right for not looking far enough ahead. Oh, that's deep. That was much deeper than expected. <laughs> Some of us make a bigger splash than others. We're on Ferry Road on our way back to the ferry. Nearing the end of the ride. I'm gonna go along the cliff top and home. Just clicked over 40 miles. My Wahoo's telling me to drink, which I will when we get to the ferry. 
ticket man's this side, so we guessed right. They say ticket man, I may have got that wrong. The last time we were on the uh, Sandbanks Ferry, we were with uh, Paul Green, Paul Green Cycling Vlogs. And despite our best efforts, he has recovered from illness and is making videos again. Yeah, riding here, you've got to be careful. You've got door zones as well. So it's best not to be too close to the cars that are parked. is reasonably flat. It's even starting to look blue again. We're almost back. There's four of us. The other four went the other way. Nice long downhill to come. Yes, <laughs> But, uh, that's the end of another great ride on the gravel bikes. I do feel like I'm ready to eat something now. I haven't uh, struggled really, even though this has been a fasted ride for me. 2,700 calories burnt. It'll be 50 miles by the time we get home. An average of 13. Uh, what we got? Average what? 210. So. Not a bad ride. That was all right, wasn't it? Very good. Decent. Yeah, really good. Glad we came out. I mean, it was peeing with rain when we left, but... Yeah, no, me too. Yeah. But it's Some... worth it. You've got to make a decision and go with it, haven't you, sometimes? Yeah. yeah. So, if you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching us. Click the like button and join us for the next one. And yes, Andrew Lord, I am going round the corner to round it up to 50. me. I've already reached 50. It's nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs>